Welcome. The Summit Lab program is designed, developed, and implemented recursively subdivided at a coil drop to form a 3D CFNC gasket. So, number of recursive steps is to be specified by the user. So, here we have to divide, subdivide the tetra electron to form the result CFNC gasket. So, first we have to specify the result tetra electron endpoints. So, it is having totally four points. So, it is going to, we are going to create a result point array of type that is a float. So, here we are going to specify all the four points for the tetra electron. Okay. So, next there is a tetra electron, it is totally having there is a four faces, there is a four triangles. So, this is a function for drawing the triangle. So that is we have to specify the endpoint, this point A, point B and point C. So how to draw the triangle? That is we are using GL begin GL polygon. So here we are going to call that is a from line from A to B, B to C and it is a polygon that is a C to A. So it is going to draw one triangle. So this is a function for dividing the triangle. So here we are going to specify that is a pa parameters as A, B, C and number of times that is the triangle to be subdivided. So here we are taking again the point that is a V1, V2, V3. So check that is if M is greater than 0, that is the number of times we should divide the triangle if it is greater than 0. For J equals 0, J is less than 3, J plus plus. So just calculate the midpoint that is a v of V1 of J equals A of J plus B of J divided by 2. So this is going to get one midpoint. Similarly, second that is from A to C, calculate under midpoint. Similarly, C to B calculates the midpoint. So here we are going to calculate that's a three midpoints. Okay, again we have to subdivide. So it is going to call that is recursive function same that is a divide triangle. Divide triangle that is a passing the A, the B1, B2, that is a M minus 1. That is M is pass, M minus 1. Similarly, divide the triangle C, B2, B3, M minus 1 times. Divide the triangle B, B3, B1, M minus 1. So this is recursively called until that is M becomes that's a zero. So once it becomes that's a zero, it's going to call that's a triangle ABC. What is the value calculated? It's going to call the triangle function and it's going to draw the triangle. So this is a function that is a tetrahedron. That is the number of division points is M. So here that is we are going to set the color value RGB R is one. Okay, using that is a red value. So here we are going to draw that is a first triangle, that is the white triangle. V0, V1 and V2, that is the number of times to be divided. Similarly, it is a second triangle, so that is G, there is a green value set. Again, we are going to call that is divide triangle, V3, V2, V1, M times. So, next set, that is the value is blue value. Again, call divide triangle, passing the values V0, V1, V3, V1 and M times. Finally, set the value to block and call divide triangle, that is V0, V2 v3 and pass the value which division value that is m so here there is a tetra electron it is having it totally four faces so draw there is a four triangle so we are going to call there is a divide triangle so it is going to subsequently divide all the triangles m number of times that is going to draw the triangle so display function that is first gl clear clear that is gl color buffer bit again gl depth buffer bit so here it's going to assign the background color and it's going to clear there is a depth of a bit that's maximum value. Again for there is a load identity is going to load identity matrix. Next we are going to call there is a tetra hydro that's by passing the value n. Call there is a GF flush. So reshape function if you maximize the there is a window, so that is a width and height of the window is changing. Okay, again you have to set there is a V port to new width and height. There is a call there is a GL matrix mode is projection we should redraw to identity matrix okay check the aspect ratio to maintain that's i and fit and set the i and fit for the new window again that is called there's a gl matrix mode that's a gl model view okay call there's a blood force re display is going to again call that's a display function again it's going to redraw the tank in main function there is a print that is uh, we have to read the number of decision points from the user so read values that is enter that is a number of recursive four steps or division read the value in that is a n okay next we are going to call that as a initialization function next blood init display mode that is we are making use of the single buffer for storing the rgb component and we should use the depth next blood create window the title is 3d crpc gasket this function is that's a my shape 
display function is di display and we should make use of the depth value so we are going to enable gl depth test okay so next is clear color that is web settings the background rgb that is a white color let me look it's going to start executing the all the method executing the functions so first let's do enter that's a display function in display function we are going to call that is a tetraedron passing the value as n it's going to call tetraedron okay so using this values of specified in the v array okay so that is set red color okay i can call that is our triangle which is divided by m times second phase this is second phase next is third phase and finally that is a fourth phase so it's going to add all the first four phases for tetraedron and it is going to subdivide m number of times and it's going to form that is a CFNC gasket so we will see the output here it will ask number of recursive steps on division so I will make there is a one so each there is a triangle is divided into one number of times so just it is going to calculate there is a midpoint for each triangle and it is going to draw there is a new triangle so similarly consider if I specify the value as 2 okay. if I specify value is 2 so here it is going to divide each triangle 2 times so it is going to form there is a CFNC cascade thank you